Are you looking to add some excitement and adventure to your next family getaway in the Black Hills? Rush Mountain Adventure Park, home of Rushmore Cave, provides four thrilling attractions in one location. We recently visited Rush Mountain Adventure Park, home of Rushmore Cave, to show you why this is a place you want to add to your destination bucket list. I'm here with Tom Hagen and Ross Johnson, owners of the Rush Mountain Adventure Park. And Ross, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to this place. Can you just start by telling me what this place entails? Well, Rush Mountain Adventure Park is a family fun park and show cave minutes from Mount Rushmore. Um, we have all kinds of fun activities here. We, uh, whether you want to spend the day underground in Rushmore Cave, um, ride the mountain coaster, um, the Soaring Eagle zip line, or the Gunslinger interactive ride, or gemstone mining, and things like that. There's all kinds of family fun for everyone. Tom, with roller coasters and other adventures, why is this a world-class attraction? We have several rides here that can be found literally throughout the world. Our Gunslinger Theater, when we first put it in, there was only one in Germany and one here in Hayward, South Dakota. And they're now all over the, or all over the world, in the Philippines, in China, Dubai, back in the United States, all over. The Mountain Coaster started out as a German ride, and it's found in Germany and Switzerland, but it's also found in over 10 countries throughout the world. So it truly is a world-class attraction. Ross, what is it about riding a roller coaster in the Black Hills that adds that much more thrill? To start with, it, the scenery is absolutely amazing out here. So, you know, you start on the ride and you go out. It's a scenic ride to the top of the hill. Um, and then from there, it's, uh, it, you put, push the throttles down and you go really fast around big curves and over bumps. And it's just a, a blast. So the riders actually have control in the speed. Yes, they do. Yeah, you can control the speed. Um, so if you're, you know, a thrill seeker and you want to go really fast, you can push the handles to the floor or you can pull back a little bit if you get a little nervous. Are there any limits as to who can go on the rides here? Say you want to bring, you know, your little kids all the way up to right. older kids. Yeah, we do have some height requirements. It's 54 inches tall to ride alone. Or if you want to have a passenger, you, you, the passengers have to be 38 inches tall. Um, the, ride, the rider then has, the driver has, has to be 54 inches tall and 16 years old to have a passenger. Um, and then our other rides, some of the other rides, you have to be 42 inches tall. But there is stuff for little kids too if... There is, yes. We have uh, gemstone mining and they can go in the cave and they can ride as a passenger. Tom, so we've heard about the mountain coaster now and the gunslinger. What else do you have to offer here? We have the Soaring Eagle Zip Ride. So on that you sit down, it takes you down the hill 630 feet at 31 miles per hour and then it reverses and pulls you back up the hill at 24 miles per hour, returning you to where you started so there's no walking up the hills. With roller coasters and other adventures comes nerves. Mm -hmm. So how can you guarantee the safety of these riders? We shop a lot to pick the rides that we have here, and we make sure that each of the rides passes three of our own criteria. And the first one is that not only the ride, but the manufacturer of the ride has to put safety as our first priority. So we make sure that these companies are cleared through, there's a couple different organizations, called one called TUV and one called ASTM, and they actually evaluate ride companies, and we make sure they're safe before we ever put them on the, on the hill. Ross, why is this a place you don't want to miss? I would say we have a ton of fun stuff to do here. That's why, you know, the sightseeing around Black Hills is one thing, but you want to do some sight doing, and this is really having fun doing things. Um, it's a great adventure for the family. Tom, Rush Mountain Adventure Park is more than just a place for rides. What other events are held here? We do several events. Um, in the summertime, not only do we have the rides, do we have the cave tours, we occasionally have some live entertainment. Um, we talked to Ross earlier. His daughter comes out. She's a great musician. She plays out here. So we do things like that as well. And do you hold bigger events like weddings and special things like that? We do have weddings. We have weddings take place in the cave. Each year it seems like we have two or three people that get a hold of me and see if it'd be okay if we did their wedding in the cave and we, we enjoy it. We love having them come out. We love the uh, whole feel of doing a wedding in the cave. Let's talk about plans for the future and right now you just added another renovation. We did. We just added a challenge course. So the challenge course is two stories, about 34 feet tall. It's 100 feet long, 50 feet wide. It accommodates up to 45 people at a time. You actually are harnessed up. You take, you hook into a rail. We take you around. There's 35 separate elements that you get to uh, go through. And it's going to be a great time for both kids and adults. We have a tykes course that specifically is catered towards kids from toddlers to 48 inches, including a zip line for the kids. So that will be fun. And why is this a place for the entire family to come? 
we, when I said there was a few criteria and safety was the first, the second one is we want to make sure everything we put out here um, plays to all generations of families. So we want it to be good for the grandparents, good for the parents, and good for the kids. So just like our mountain coaster, a 38 inch high child who's a three year old can ride with their father, with their grandfather, with their grandmother, and the same with all of our rides. We want to make sure it appeals to everyone. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place, how it came to be what it is today. Well, the cave itself was discovered all the way back in 1876, just two years after Black Hills Gold had been discovered, and there was mining taking place in the bottom of this valley. And the miners, really by accident, discovered Rushmore Cave in 1876. And it became a local curiosity where locals would come out and check out the cave until about 1927 when the owners of the property realized they had so many people coming to see it that they could make a business of it. So the cave opened in 1927 for visitation, so we're on our 91st year. Beyond that with the rides, we just wanted to expand our offerings a little bit, so we started doing above ground attractions. Ross, what's the one thing you want visitors to come away with when they visit here? I would say the biggest thing is we want families to be together, making great memories together, and, and leaving South Dakota and with some absolute awesome memories, and they want to come back again. And what's the little known secret about Rush Mountain Adventure Park? I would say the little known secret is just all the things that we have to offer. People come here all the time, they spend the day, and when they leave, they tell me, I just can't believe how much is here and how much there is to do. tour stalactite filled caves or carve the mountain on a roller coaster ride there's something for everyone in the family to enjoy at rush mountain adventure park with something for people of all ages it should be a planned destination on your 